What's up YouTube? Welcome to Automotive Life. My name is Lucky and in today's video we're going to be talking about tools. Now if you are in the automotive industry, I don't care what you do, you're going to need tools. So if you're a dealer, uh, you own a rental car company, you're, you own a mobile detail business, uh, you're just starting in the automotive technician world, body shop, car flipper, whatever it is, you are going to need some general tools and this goes out to guys and girls. It's very important. So we're going to talk about some of the things you need to get, some of the things to stay away from and debunking a lot of the myths of, you know, you got to spend an exorbitant amount of money to build your toolbox. Now I want to help you guys get started with building your tools. So I'm going to give out in this video a $100 gift card to Harbor Freight. All you have to do to enter is just put a comment down below. I don't care if it's toast, I'd buy that for a dollar, anything funny, um, anything you put in there basically registers you for this actual giveaway and then we're going to pick a winner Monday. But before I get into the video, I just want to uh, give you guys a huge shout out. We just hit 45,000 subs. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. And if you could do me a big favor and gently squeeze the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it helps me find more amazing people like yourselves that enjoy automotive content. Also, if you consider subscribing, we post great stuff like this all the time. Make sure you click the notification bell because we are posting three times a week. And once again, follow us on Instagram at automotive.life. We do funny stuff stuff there all the time. We also do giveaways on my Instagram channel as well. So make sure you uh, follow us over there to get a lot more intimate content and some funny unfiltered content definitely as well. And without any more shameless plugging, let's get into the video. Oh, I almost forgot. We're going to pick the winner of the giveaway today. Now you remember my highly scientific method where we actually pick up the phone and we scroll back and forth. So the winner of the free consultation call from last week is Downbeat Financial. Congratulations. Uh, make sure that you reply to us either on our email at lucky at automotive.life or hit us up on Instagram. Um, we're going to reply back in a comment and just let us know that it's you and just show some sort of proof. And we'll go ahead and get that consultation for you. And let's get into the video. Okay, guys, let's talk tools. Now, there's been this big myth that you got to spend an exorbitant amount of money to get quality tools. You have to do this. So when I first started being an automotive technician, I thought that, you know, you had to buy off the truck. I was drinking the Kool-Aid like everybody else. If you're new to this, if you don't know what off the truck is, it's a lot of premium brands like Snap-on, Cornwell, Matco, and Mac. You know, they sell quality products, but they're very expensive. Now, the reason you pay for the more price is because you're supposed to buy it once for life, you get quality service, and you get uh, you know lifetime warranty on your tools, which is great. That was one of the best things about it. So I believed in making the investment and buying those tools. Well, that was back in the day. I'm going to tell you the problem that I have now. So this Matco, like I said, Ratchet, I bought maybe seven, ten years ago. It's worked great. I think I've had one problem with it. I took it into the truck. The driver fixed it, switched out the gearhead. Works good, haven't had any issues with it. You know, back then, they would give you very quality service. You would drop off your tool, if they couldn't fix it right then and there, he'd be like, okay, Lucky, here's a brand new one. I'll see you later. No problems, no issues. Nowadays, I won't mention the vendor's name, but I had a similar ratchet, kind of like that, that I took in and it was starting to slip. I'm like, hey, the teeth are kind of broken off. It's starting to slip a little bit. Can I go ahead and get the, uh, the gear head replaced out? And he was like, oh, well, we have to mail it in. It's going to take four to six weeks. You're going to have to pay for shipping. They may cover it. They may not, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You usually just you hand me another one. We swap it out. Oh, we don't do that anymore. So now, the, the reason why you paid this exorbitant amount of money for some of these brands for the quality of service and lifetime warranty doesn't even really matter anymore. And it was very discerning because that was, like I said, the best thing about it. So I was very upset. So instead of going out and buying another $200 ratchet, I decided to invest in a $49 ratchet. Now, this is one from Harbor Freight. It's not their uh, baseline, but this is their premium line. It's called Icon. It's a fine tooth head, if you can hear that. Just like my $200 ratchet, sounds really good. I think it's like a 125 tooth, I believe. Um, you know, the quality is great. I've used it this whole weekend. Um, I was putting the spoiler on my 2021 Audi R8. I'll put a picture somewhere over here. And we were taking out about 100 bolts and this thing worked fine. All the tight areas, we swiveled the head around, pivoted great, no issues, anything like that. And it was good to go. Now. I thought about this would be a great series where I build my studio 
with these type of tools instead of buying the super expensive ones. Just to kind of show you guys that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get quality tools and you can build something nice. So I figured it'd be kind of funny where we can go get some tools from Harbor Freight and work on exotic cars and show you there's really not a difference. It's the technician, it's not really the tool. Now, I'm not discerning you from buying expensive tools. There's definitely quality things that you're gonna to wanna to buy that are worth more money and that are better products. Now, when it comes to like my impact, this Milwaukee, I've had this thing for uh, probably about a year now. It's not meant to, to break off lug nuts on tires, but I do it all the time. Um, it did all the bolts for the Audi R8 wing this weekend. I did a bunch of other stuff with it. It doesn't break, doesn't have any issues, very quality tool. Now, I'm sure this is probably gonna last me three, four years. I did pay a lot of money for this one and I have the uh, half inch uh, impact down below me, but it's a great tool, a little bit more money, but I'm very, very satisfied. But on the other end, I have this one. This is a cobalt. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing extremely uh, breathtaking, but it was quality. I've had this thing for four years. I've taken off bolts with this thing. I don't even think this is an impact. I think it's just a drill. I've taken bolts off, uh, um, drilled through things, did all kinds of stuff with this fabricating with this tool. And I think I paid $80 for this, the charger, and I think one other tool. And I haven't had a single problem. And the battery life on this thing is ridiculous. I haven't charged this thing in like a month and it's still got four dots. It's insane. So, you know, this is actually a quality tool. And if I have any issues, the thing I like about it is I can actually take this directly to Lowe's and say, hey, um, this is not working. It's, it's broken, it's burnt up, whatever else. And they'll swap it out for a new one. If I were to go out and spend, you know, five, six hundred dollars and get one from one of the major brands, I would have to basically submit it in, pay for the shipping, and then pray to God that they cover it under warranty. Now, the reason why I decided to buy more of these tools was, like I told you, I had that issue with that vendor. And then also I bought some other stuff from Harbor Freight and I wanted to test it myself. So I don't have it here, it's in my other toolbox, but I had a set of pliers. I think I paid 20 bucks for like a kit of like five of them. You know, nothing expensive, but they were still decent quality. And I took it in because the, the front of the end was loose. So if you wiggle this around, that's not a good thing. And when I took it in there, I was like, hey, this is, these are loose, they're bad, they're not working correctly, can I get another set? I was shocked. They actually said, no problem. They pulled one out, gave it to me, took the other one, took it back, put it in the case, and they shipped it back off. It's, I've never seen it so easy with something that was, you know, very inexpensive and affordable. And usually, you know, you have to spend that premium dollar to get that type of service. And I didn't have to do that with that particular tool. So I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know what? I think for the new shop, we're gonna do something a little bit different. You know, we're gonna try to go with maybe a little bit more affordable tools to show people that you don't gotta have that crazy, you know, expensive tool chest. You know, because a lot of people, I understand, it's very daunting when you show up and you get a handful of things from your Snap-on truck and it costs you two grand, where $2,000, you're rolling out with like a tool chest and like full of tools. Now. I would recommend starting off getting something affordable, like I said, from Harbor Freight, um, you know, some good quality tools. If you don't want to buy the base, step up and get the Icon. Um, we've been using these uh, sockets this whole time. I'm keeping this one in the box because I'm probably going to do a giveaway. But we were using these sockets with my impact gun on wheels, tires, everything else. Haven't had a problem with it. Um, we, we even just did a head job with this, uh, these set of sockets. Didn't even use the impact just to see if it would break and have any type of issues. Nothing. Now back in the day, a lot of the cheaper tools and sockets that we used to get, you put them on an impact and you put them on a lug nut, all that stuff just snaps right off. But these newer ones from Icon, I haven't had a single problem with them. And two of the techs that work for us actually have nothing but Icon in their box because they didn't want to have that $200 a week payment from the truck. So they didn't want to give away all their salary basically to the, to the Snap-on and, and Cornwell and uh, Matco guys anymore. So they wanted to buy something a little bit better, but not as expensive as this. Now, Cornwall, this socket right here, I've had the same socket set like this one for about seven years now. It's already paid for itself. This one I think was 30 bucks. This one I believe I paid a hundred and something dollars for, but I'll tell you what, it is a great value. So I'm not saying do not get these type of tools, but just when you start off your journey, you don't have to go out and buy something exorbitant. But once again, I wanna remind you guys, we are giving away that gift card. So if you put a comment in the section below, I'm gonna send you a gift card for a hundred dollars uh, to get tools from Harbor Freight. And believe
believe it or not, 100 bucks, you can get the ratchet, the sockets, and probably one other thing just to start off your journey and probably a few more things as well. So make sure you leave a comment down below to qualify for the giveaway. And let's go ahead and finish up with some of this other stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about toolboxes. Now, way too many people spend way too much money on these things. So when I was younger, I was drinking the Kool-Aid and I bought a Maximizer. If you don't know what that is, it's probably about as long as this wall behind me. It was a massive, stupidly insane box. The gentleman that bought it before me paid $60,000 for it brand new. I think I paid 20,000 bucks or 19,000 uh, used from him. I think I had payments for three years through my, uh, my Matco guy. And don't get me wrong, it was an awesome uh, toolbox. It had a microwave, it had a fridge, it had a closet for my clothes, um, power strips, all kinds of stuff, lights. It was a great box, but I remember when I had to move it the first time, what a nightmare. I had to take the box apart, I had to have four or five people help me, then we had to put it up on the flatbed. It was just a nightmare. So after I moved from uh, two shops, I ended up selling it to uh, one of my guys, and he took off with it and I bought a more affordable box because I didn't need something that crazy. And one thing that I've noticed is that there are more and more technicians and more and more people buying boxes from places like Harbor Freight, um, Home Depot and Lowe's. You can get a quality box and a quality unit for affordable pricing. Now, like I said, back in the day, that was not the case. You would literally like bang on this and it would fall apart. With these new ones, that's not the case. So this one I actually bought from uh, Home Depot. It's, it's a Husky box. But the cool thing is it actually has this fold out piece right here where I can do really cool stuff talking to you guys. We're gonna do some fabrication. We're gonna show you how to weld, um, build some stuff out of fiberglass and, and build some car parts on this actual unit. I've already done a few things on here and we've actually used this to uh, fix some of the lights up here. So this has actually been used as a stand and a ladder. And we haven't had any single problems. Where back in the day, the old ones, you couldn't stand on them because the wheels would bend, the, the sheet metal was very thin, but these now are quality boxes. So don't believe the hype. Don't believe that you gotta spend $5,000 on a box. Go buy something like this for 800 bucks, quality. I think this thing's even got like a three year warranty, which is great. The rollers, the, a lot of these boxes, I'm, I'm not gonna mention names, but a lot of these boxes are built from the same manufacturers in China, India, and Pakistan, and they just rebrand them with different names. So if you start looking at some of this stuff and you're like, well, I bought this one from you know, Matco and I bought this one from Snap-on, it's the same box, they just got different names. And then you go find somebody that has maybe like gear wrench, it's like, that's another one. Um, gear wrench, they make the same quality products, but then the other vendors just slap their name on it. So you're paying the extra money for the supposedly service and the warranty, which if you're not getting the service or the warranty, why even mess with it? Go ahead and just get the, the more affordable one. But toolboxes, like I said, you don't have to go crazy. Just get something quality. Um, there's a lot of great stuff at pawn shops, at, uh, you know, uh, Facebook Marketplace offer up, you know, I recommend getting something just basic general, get a small tool cart, buy some affordable tools, get on there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it's been a little bit more educational. I'm gonna bring some more tools on here. We're gonna hopefully have like a tech thing on Tuesdays where I'm gonna show you guys like how to use the, like I just got a new scanner. We're gonna show you how to scan cars. We're gonna be doing some builds and fabrication. So little by little as the studio gets built out, I'm gonna be doing more and more projects for you guys to show you that it's not only teaching you about running your dealership and running your rental car company and starting all these other things. I also want to show you some of the things that you can do yourself to make some money. So if you're a car flipper, you're definitely going to want to get these items to start fixing your cars yourself. And you don't have to be a master mechanic and don't be concerned that you don't know how to use the tools. Just start buying a few handful of tools and try to do a few small projects. Change a battery, change your uh, a wheel out, change your alternator, just start your journey. You know, these things, like I said, even if you don't use them that often, you're gonna need them eventually. And I think every man and woman should have a generalized toolbox in their area. Um, but once again, don't forget about the giveaway. Um, put a comment down below and you will win a $100 gift card from Harbor Freight. So we're gonna start off with your uh, tool journey that way. I don't care what you put. I buy that for a dollar, toast, a funny comment, whatever else, hey, go for it. Um, also, once again, if you can please gently squeeze the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it helps you find more amazing people like yourselves and enjoy automotive content. Also, if you consider subscribing, I post like this three times a week, so make sure you click the notification bell. And once again, follow us on Instagram, automotive.life, and we'll see you next video.